What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give you a best class setup for the FFAR. Now this was a gun, of course, that was really good when the game first came out. Then it got a big nerf and it pretty much just ruined the weapon. It was not really worth using. There have been a lot of people, mainly pro players as of late, saying that there's been some changes to this gun. There's a little bit of a uh, decrease in the uh, horizontal recoil, which of course, you know, if a pro player is saying they can tell a difference in a gun that they used a lot when the game first came out in scrims, practices, that kind of thing, you know something has changed. Now, Call of Duty has been known over the years, no matter what developer is in charge, to do ghost nerfs and buffs to weapons and not really talk about it. So, I have been using it over the last few days, playing Hardpoint and Dom, and I can tell a difference. Is it as good as it was before the nerf? No. Is it better than it was after the nerf? Definitely. Uh, before I get into everything, guys, make sure if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Of course, if you like the video, smash the like button. I would appreciate it. And check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and also the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, uh, keyboards, mice, all kind of stuff to fit your gaming needs. They're having a big holiday sale right now. There is an affiliate link down in the description. So, you know, check that website out if you'd like to buy something from there. Of course, it would help me out. I would appreciate that, you know, if you use that affiliate link. But if you don't, that's fine. But just give them a look uh, and, and see if there's anything on that website. You know, you might uh, find for yourself that you need or, you know, for, for a gift for someone for the holiday season. Let's go ahead and hop right into the setup itself. This is my main go-to class setup with this. Running Gunfighter, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, Ninja, Stem Shot, Simtex, Jammer, Gallo Shotgun. I really don't like using it, but everybody uses shotguns. So if you can't beat them, join them. That's kind of how I look at it. So it works out pretty well. Even though I'd rather run a pistol, I just get destroyed when I run a pistol, it seems, when everybody else has shotguns. Um, like I said, this, this is my go-to class for like Dom and Hardpoint. I play a lot of Dom, a lot of Hardpoint. I will usually use my other class for Team Deathmatch. Um, it still works pretty well, but this is my favorite kind of class for this gun. When it comes to the attachments itself, I'm not running an optic. Now, after the nerf, I was running an optic because the horizontal recoil was so bad. This gun, of course, when it first was released, the game first came out, it just had straight vertical recoil, and it was kind of easy to predict. It still was kind of wild, but you could control it. When they did nerf the weapon, not only did it go up, the horizontal recoil kicked in, and that's one of the hardest things to control. It almost made a C, kind of, after it went up a little bit, it would kind of curve over almost into a C. It was nuts, the uh, horizontal recoil this gun had, so it was really hard to keep it on target. A lot of players, like I said, pro players on the scene are saying the numbers have changed. The horizontal recoil has been knocked down by about 20 or 30%. And you can tell it. I can tell when I play with this weapon now, it is not as hard to control uh, the recoil as it once was. Now, it still does not kill at the distance that it did. Uh, the range is still kind of weak. That was one of the other things they nerfed, uh, the damage range when they nerfed this weapon. But overall, like I said, in my opinion, the iron sights are the best for this gun. And now that this change has come through, it seems, I can kind of go back with the iron sights. I don't have to worry about running that sight. You can run a sight if you prefer. I'm going with the muzzle brake. This is the only thing really that doesn't give you a con. Now, it's only 4% vertical recoil control, but of course, we look at something like the Infantry Compensator or the SOCOM Eliminator. We're going to get some cons to our horizontal recoil control, and of course, we don't want that with this gun because that is, like I said, one of the hardest things to control in the game. Uh, always hard to control horizontal recoil in Call of Duty, so that muzzle brake works out really, really well. When it comes to the barrel, the Reinforced Heavy is really nice because we do get that effective damage range bonus plus some bullet velocity. You could always go with the bullet velocity bar barrel if you wanted, but I prefer the reinforced heavy. When it comes to the body, I'm using the steady aim laser. I'm almost using this like a hybrid sub. It's still kind of how you got to treat this weapon. You can get some kills at distance, but up close to kind of close medium range, you can absolutely delete people off the map if you hit all your shots. Now, sometimes it feels a bit inconsistent still since the nerf. But overall, I, I think the hip fire accuracy with this laser is really nice. Considering we want to have some other things on that are going to hurt the hip fire in a little bit, this will help it out overall uh, to kind of even that out. When it comes to the body, I'm using the field agent grip. Yes, we get 6% more vertical recoil control, but we get that big 20% horizontal recoil control, which is really, really nice. Uh, when it comes to the magazine, 34-round uh, mag or the jungle-style mag are my two personal favorites. Everything else is going to hurt our aim down sight, which I'm trying to avoid, like I said, Trying to use this kind of like a hybrid sub. I play in the domina around the domination points or in the hard point a lot with this. So it works really well for me kind of with this setup. When it comes to the handle, like always, airborne elastic wrap and stock, the Raider stock. Like I said, this Raider stock is going to give us a con of 30% hip fire accuracy. But we are getting a plus 20% hip fire accuracy with this steady aim laser. 
Now, we're still going to have a little bit of a negative when it comes to, uh, you know, the stats for hip fire. But overall, I feel like the gun, it handles a lot better with these attachments on it. And this is, like I said, one of my favorite uh, kind of ways to run this gun. Now, if it's something like Team Deathmatch or if I'm playing by myself, I don't have a couple friends on playing with me. I need to stay off the radar more, whatever the case may be. Another team starts throwing up UAVs. I go with this class. This is the perk greed, of course. Black Jacket, Tack Mask, Scavenger, Gearhead, Ghost, Ninja, Stem Shot, Simtex, Jammer. I always go with the Jammer, Trophy System, or Field Mic. Mainly Trophy System or Jammer. The reason I really like that Jammer is if you're even playing in objective mode, you can put this around the objective mode. You can jam other uh, the other teams' uh, trophy systems, the other teams' equipment just in general, uh, you know, landmines, whatever the case may be. It is really nice to jam trophy systems. That's the one thing I really like about it. If your team has a trophy down, you put your jammer down, you're pretty much going to just negate the whole idea of the other team having a trophy system out. So it's really, really nice in my opinion. When it comes to the setup, we're going to drop pretty much the usual. Not going to run an optic again. A lot of times during team deathmatch, I will run the ranger barrel just for the fact of a lot of people don't move around as much in team. They'll kind of camp head glitch. So that bullet velocity is really nice. A bullet velocity is nice. The ranger barrel is nice on any AR because the more bullet velocity you have in game, you will tell as soon as you pull the trigger, those bullets are registering. So that's a really nice thing to have, in my opinion, in Team Deathmatch. Of course, I dropped the body off here as well and the stock. So we're going to run the airborne elastic wrap, the 34 round mag, and the field agent grip. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've used the FFAR as of late. It seems like this change probably came through uh, either with 1.07 or one of the, you know, game setting updates we've had. We've had a lot of those lately, and they just did not mention anything in the patch notes. Uh, when I heard about this, I was kind of curious. I was kind of skeptical that this could be true. Then I heard a lot of pro players talking about the weapon was handling and acting a lot better than it was after the nerf. And like I said, I can definitely tell you it is better than it was after the nerf, not to the point where it was when the game first came out. But it is an improvement from what they did to it when they nerfed it because they absolutely destroyed the weapon. And in my opinion, it's a really fun gun to use. So if you have not tried it in a while, or if you've not used it before, definitely give it a look and try it out. Of course, we do have some double weapon XP coming up this weekend going until the, uh, you know, season one starts. So that's a good time to level up the gun if it's, you know, low level or something like that. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your uh, thoughts about the weapon. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, like I said, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know everything goes live here on the channel. And I'll catch you all next time.